evening. Just uh, change my TV channel. Why not? Let me just double check. Not drop any frames, which we don't think we are. Uh, nope. All good. Coolio. Right, uh, oh, Metal Slug. I've been playing this on the um, PC Engine uh, CD. Not PC Engine, but the CD. But the uh, Neo Geo CD. Uh, this is the um, this is the turbo version of the ROM. Basically, it got hacked because this ROM, this game is really, really slow. But uh, it got hacked, and it it's not perfect, but it runs a hell of a lot faster than it did. And I happen to really like this game. I think the second now looks like it's really cool. Okay. Okay. Mission one. Start. Do you like that? Oh, so muffled, do I? Weird. Is that any better? All right, Bean, how's it going? Um, uh, hang on, let me put the mic a bit further across and see if that uh, see if that helps. Metal slug. Two. Let me know if that's any better. I should try this again. Um, hang on. Let me double check. Actually, I was uh, trying to record something in the week. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
that's probably better. <laughs> I forget, when you change the settings on the one on OBS, it changes for all different uh, setups I got. I'm, all, I'm okay, thanks mate. All good. How's everyone else? Right, that should be better. Mission one, start. Yeah, I think X is quite a is quite a different game. So I've been playing this a little bit this week on the um, on the Neo Geo CD. So, so I don't really need to go up here, do I? It is quite a bit of loading on the Neo Geo CD, but seems I got a um, CDZ. It's not too bad. Right, I'm gonna try and keep my uh, grenades actually. Ah, cool. Yeah, I forgot once you once you change the settings for the one, I put the changes on them all. Basically, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, it is quite a bit quicker. No, it's on the mister, it is. Normally you can age me, so... Uh... Right, at least I can't hit me. I'm trying to keep my uh, grenades. I'd say there's bloody secrets all over the place on this. Yeah, the mist is just easier, basically, isn't it? Oh, nice, nice amount of points. I'm sure there's some secret stuff off screen on this. got loads of bombs you can kill that thing fast. <laughs> right Dando, how's it going? Oh yeah, I wonder if they'll turn up. Alright but all go all going uh, good. Mission. I'm sure there's some more secrets on this first level. Oh, we've got to keep the camel, that's bad. You jump off if you mind, so... I'm sure... That's it. There's a secret there as well. Um. Those pesky bats. Oh, I got a flu root bummer. Right, it's normally a sicker guy in here. I 
Oh god, watch it, don't get turned into a zombie. Weapon. Oh, nearly had it. I didn't pick it up. I start that bit. I'm sure there's some secrets on some of these um, signs as well. I've been off work sick of you. Yeah, that's a good. I don't know what's better being sick or being stressed. You can jump past this, but I'm just playing it safe. Maybe not. That was stupid. Now I'm in trouble. Come on. Give me a potion. Oh, there's one with there. Drop a deck down then. I'm sure there were some secrets on some of these, and so maybe maybe X, I don't know. He ran me pretty quick then as well. Oh, get a bit, nearly. Go on, he can't be far off dead. Nice. Alright, Dean, how's it going? Yeah, it's that bloody dodgy flu flap in the room, mate. Yeah, I um, swapped out and going up tomorrow now. So I'll be back on on Sunday. So we'll do tonight and Sunday instead of uh, Saturday and Sunday.
Oh, you bought Dangan, do? Nice. Stacking customs. Just yeah, sometimes they do add, don't they, when they see you getting random packages. I say, if you are definitely going to play this game, play the, um, the hack version. It does speed this game up a fair amount. Sneaky. Oh, that was a dodgy grenade then. Stabby, stabby. Nasty. Oh, just about made it. Well, hopefully they won't uh, keep Dangan for too long. Off. Oh, you got a ROM swapped out, too. That's cool. It's making me a bit random. Oh, die. Oh no, I waited. Damn it. Ah, I should just jump straight away down in the middle. Oh, that's annoying. It's a silly life to lose end as well. Moment to do fire them things off. Charge you much to swap that ROM out on uh, Bats again? On Bat Rider, or whatever it is. Bats again, sorry. Right, I suppose if you know somebody who can uh, program ROMs. I 
God, they're firing a bit high. They don't normally fire that much. Normally energy. One more missile. I'll leave our aid. Oh, then again. Oh, I didn't need it really. That's it. I'm good. No, we're not. Uh, I can stream it next time. Here. Cool. Ah, cool. Yeah, if you can join the Discord, if you fancy it, like jump in there. Mission I know, and they charge VAT on postage as well. The VAT is worked out with the postage, which is a massive con. I think I put a link to the um, Discord in the uh, in the page you're on as well. If you look down in the comments, with in your boat or whatever. Anyway, see, I don't know whether it's best to you to avoid to get in fat. I quite like it. You go slower, but you get really good weapons. I don't know which is best. Some nice extra points again. It does change its five in a bit. That chicken just had a crap. <laughs> that was quite funny. Oh, that was not a crab, he's chicken with eggs. What the hell? Sometimes it doesn't show uh, things the same. So look what you said. Oh, that's alright, isn't it? 20 quid. Yeah, the tax is massive. It's, it, you can see it's a con where they tax you on the postage as well. They combine that with the price of the item. It's just a message system, essentially, Discord. You can check it on your phone, or... Um, it's just like a private message system. People can join in or whatever. I think of it like Twitter, but only for groups. <laughs> the fat guy's cool. Yeah, I, I've added occasionally, every now and then I get it. Not very often, but sometimes. Yeah, I, I wonder what Discord was when it first turned up, but it's, it's just like a message room. It's quite handy, actually. There's some Discord groups worth joining. You can get There's ones for Mr. as well, where you can get all the test builds and stuff. He climbs down, that's good. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. 
Now well, good head up if you are need. Ah Damn it. That happened to me last time I got you as well. Yeah, I just thought it uh, started up like in uh, Andy for messages and saying when I'm on and things like that and I don't know, suggest games or whatever to play and just generally hang around and have a laugh, post crap. It seems to be the thing these days, Discord, so. Oh, I don't want to get caught. Oh, I'm going to get it twice. Okay, I'm making a mess of this bit. things. Right, let me seven cannon shots. I'm pretty sure on the CD version there's only one of those uh, weapon cannon things for there. It's on, um, if you have a look on the about page, it's in the description of this uh, stream as well. got to stay right underneath it. Right, go number one. Um, that's what it says, is it? Have you got a Discord account? Because it'll probably ask you to make one. That's the link it gave me. Let me just double check. You know, drum freak, how's it going? Ooh, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to share a link from the uh, Discord. That's the one to give me. Yeah, it's been joined. That's cool. Should be. God, that's a weird link. That's definitely not right. Hang on. Metal slug. Two. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Uh, one second. It's basically just a message service. Just like um. Remember the old messaging service when you were in groups? It's basically just that. Oh yeah, definitely. X60000 is brilliant, isn't it? Let's see if I can get the link thing again. Um, where do I go to get my link? Hang on. Hide members new. I haven't really used Discord much myself at the moment, so... 
I'm a little bit new to it as well. Metal slug. Uh, how do I get into my account? Ah, uh, boom. Pending blocks, friends, online. Trying to look for a link again. Oh, I don't. Look in the wrong place. Stream remote enabled. Okay. There was a link. Yeah, and if I knew how to use Discord. Alien appearances. Mm, I'm not sure. I did have the link. Uh, let me try it for my page. Thank you. Right, I copy that. Yeah, that is the one, basically. He'll ask you for a Discord account, probably ought to make one. That takes me to it. That should take you to it. In fact, I'll try it out in Edge now, just to uh, just to make sure. But I haven't got it set up in here, so if I do an Edge, it's gonna feel like I've never signed it before. Then again, it just picks me up. Yeah, I think that's where you make an account. Once you go in there, you can basically set up an account then if you want to go in. That's if you want to go in there, of course. No pressure, like. Don't have to join if you don't want to. It's all good. I just can't remember who asked. Somebody asked me about a Discord account, so I thought I'd just set one up. Metal Slug. Metal Slug. So I've been playing on the X68000 then. Found anything interesting? See, I would go somebody else, but quite like Marco. Marco! Mission one, start. Dun, 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 dun. Six levels on this. You can usually get level five. I should continue actually and get a bit of practice on the eye levels. Yeah, wicked games about slug like games. <laughs> Stupid money on the home systems as well. Actually, they're expensive on MVS. Yeah, Galaxy 2 is good. I've done a couple of 1ccs on that now, but uh, I'm trying to do it on one life. I'll probably have a go later. Not quite do it on one life, I just I end up messing something up towards the end of the game. Almost. Should check out the first one as well, that's good. If I get away from you, I can keep my grenades. Wish <laughs> I knew what the rest of the secrets were. 
I'm sure on the uni bias there's a mode that shows you where the secrets are. Enough bombs, you can kill that thing fast. Yeah, Cybercore is good. That's on the PC engine as well. I'm getting a, um, I'm getting an MT32 as well. I've ordered the Pi, which I found that an incredibly hard to get hold of. The one I want, anyway. And uh, I'm getting the Pi Art as a Christmas present, so I've ordered the Pi. I've got the SD card set up, so I'll test it, and then uh, Christmas Day, then I'll have uh, some MIDI on the uh, sharp core. Oh, frog. Yeah, the version of Pi I want is a Raspberry Pi 3, um, A+, plus, A1+. Plus. Which are pretty much sold out everywhere. Thank you. But I found... Um, the only place I could find out of in stock, which I think they're second-hand ones, but I don't care. As long as it works. Is CEX. They had quite a few of them. Everywhere else is sold out, and they're saying they may get him in in a couple of weeks. You may not see him till next year. But that's the one that fits perfectly with the um, MT32 Pi hat. You can use a normal Pi mine, but this looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Better than getting a game or something for Christmas, that is, I, I reckon. I'll probably get a lot more fun out there. Right. You can collect this if you... Yeah, it got to be done. Yeah, I know. It's, um... They're getting really hard to get hold of. Like you can get the normal pies; they seem to be reasonably easy to get hold of. But um, the Pi Three A One Plus is not easy to get hold of, and there's some unscrupulous sellers trying to sell it for like eighty, ninety quid when they're literally twenty-five pound. Always the same as supply and demand, I suppose. Capitalism, eh? Pretty sure. Oh no! That will kill me now. No, oh, go away. Right, at least they didn't die over there. 
I'm not going for that. Right, I survived it. Right, I get it back up here anyway, so we go. We're all good. We're back. He fell down there then. Oh shit. Right, well he's charging at me, he's not firing. Oh shit, get to the side. What if you were, I can. Yeah, missing the cab would be good as well. Especially if you've got a six button cab. Then you'd have enough buttons literally to do pretty much mostly anything on the missing. Yeah, we'll see if CEX come through with the um the Raspberry Pi. They've posted it, so hopefully it's working. And it, it was only 20 quid as well. Be fine, not get, don't get killed this time by uh, random grenades. Or not pulling down when he fires at me. Ah, oh, what a dog. Why did I do that for? Literally, it's safe when you fire as well. Oh. Well, ah, that's too late. I think you can do anything today. Sneaky. Oh, 
All right, defend the cab. Nice. Yeah, never really a big fan of that game, but um, I know what you mean. That was well lived, didn't it? Original cab would be cool, though. On fire. Well, not much they go for these days if you get order a proper original cab. Yeah, so if you go down here straight away, don't get it. I still like to have an original cab. I want a, I want a um, Fulix or a candy cab, basically. I just ain't got the room for one, unfortunately. I need to take Dean's advice and get one, I reckon. <laughs> That's right. Can't be end of life. <laughs> Loads of time left. This thing does fire different patterns. Found the game after for my uh, new Dewey, yes. I, I picked up um, Samurai Shodan. It was easy to be cheap issues, so I was just like 40 odd quid. 42 quid, I think it was something like that. You still can get cheap games for the AES. Yeah, it kind of can't be nice. I probably could make the room. I'd have to do some sacrifices if I was going to do it. Yeah, Nurgle 2 would be nice as well. Yeah, I don't think I've... Have I ever seen Nurgle 2 in the UK? I don't think I have. Unless he's got one in an arcade club and I didn't notice. So... Sneaky grenade. Right, I'm going to keep some grenades this time. If that one truck there appears and that helicopter turns up. Eat those pigs. What I what I'd like to have is a, an Aero City. One of them would be really nice, I think. I like he kills them with the fork when they get close. They're more expensive than candy cabs, isn't they?
Oh, grenade. Alright, ten grenades left. Okay, I got some grenades. Right, okay, sorted. Hey, he didn't die that time. Yeah, an Aero City would be sweet. Yeah, Dean's got his own marquee going. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yet. some uh, grenades, I think. Right, boss time. some of these gun turrets. Right, okay. Oh, you've got to stay literally, that's it, in that position. Don't mind if the explosions pop me up in the air. Move too fast. Got it. Yeah, if you get, if you want to get rid of it, you can get the money for it and uh, get a cab. It's a good way of doing it. I could probably do the same thing, really. I probably got a few things I could flog to get a cab if it comes to it, but I don't know where to put it. Nando, see my room. There's no room for an arcade cab in here. <laughs> ah, damn! I couldn't pull down then. I am going to continue for practice. I can normally get to this level, then I die.
coffin. Yep, definitely no room for a cab in here. Oh man. As much as I would like one. <laughs> yeah, I need to get used to level five. Oh no, I was looking at the buddy scenery then. I'm pretty sure this sucker beer had me last time as well. Oh my god, there's a lot of bombs. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's not funny. Right, so the trick is for you is to get those guys on the floor. Uh, helicopter gonna bug it off or yeah don't fire me like a right, let's just grenade it it is like a tiny game I'm pretty sure there's loads of helicopters on this bit. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta get rid of them guys pretty quick. got to get that bloody red helicopter. Yeah, that is quite a big scene, yeah. There's a couple of companies though, isn't there? That one you bought your cards off and stuff. The one I got the stool off and that. some weapons definitely want to keep these things firing straight down Oh, I thought he was going to get me in. Oh, grenade. Definitely gets a bit busy, really. Isn't it? Don't kill you if we run into you. <laughs> no, it's um, it's the home version. It's 
Det smager dårligt, for jeg kan blive sådan, Andy. Jam. Chad. I've got one more crate left. Oh, what was up here then? Yeah, I don't think it did. I think the Japanese one may have. It's like, um, let's have a look. Cheat database, what have we got? Infinite time, enable auto fire. Say if I did that. I wonder if these will kick in. Infinite ammo. No, there's no blood option. Do that. Let's see. Do I get a fire? Let's try your vote Laser. Things are weird. Who's oh, that shotgun a bit? Shotgun. Ah, oh, they explode. like him. <sighs> Comes close. Run away! <sighs> ah, he went forward. Last credit. It's blood on the new Juice CD version. I got Japanese new Juice CD, I suppose. Right, at least you can run over them. What I want you to do. Didn't want to do that then. Uh, that was sneaky.
Last life. Get out here tonight. Right, is it gonna fire one at me? Oh, bugger, that's big. Got a fire. No, I tried to jump. Yeah, dude. Love some cave action on the Mister. Definitely. We're saying about price. I think Metal Slug One on AES um, is about five grand. No, it's ridiculous. AES collecting is just like, it's insane basically. So if I do a soft reboot, actually, I want to do a hard reboot, then I? So if you do that, soft reboot, and then hold down, change the region to Japan, and we'll have console dip settings blood is on marvelous well Andy you universe I got the uni bias on both my um, MVS boards yeah, that boss is hard. I'm not quite sure how to fight it. Tell you what, though, I'm going to save my fingers and use autofire. Metal slug two. See how fast that is. Right, show sure blood now. Okay. okay. Mission. Actually, I'll just turn it on in here. Able to fire. Most expensive Neo Geo game at this moment in time, eh? yes, I think it's about 80 grand. Which is literally insane. I think um, uh, Turf Masters Golf is going for about 30, you know. You can still get some games on the um, AES reasonably cheap, mind it. Oh yeah, definitely, considering I had loads of AES games back in the day as well. Why do I kept all them now? I think when some of the big, more expensive games come in mind, I'd already sold my AES and I was um, 
I was either running a super gun or a um, Neo Geo CD because basically Neo Geo CD stuff it was just way cheaper. That's why I ended up uh, selling my AES. Alright, that might not have been the best idea, but at least it served a purpose. I got to play a hell of a lot more games. Notice the scoring is different on the Japanese one. It's giving me some different drops and stuff. That was super close then. Yeah, damn right. Yeah, I think, like, if anyone knew the Neo Geo was going to get to these heights of craziness in prices, yeah, I would have kept grabbing AES games when I was at it as well. But who knows? People who went out of this are the people who ended up keeping hold of their collections and didn't end up selling them. Or were picking them up when they went cheap. I love Neo Geo stuff, like, but uh... ah, I thought there was a secret up here. Thank you. I don't love it enough to pay like thirty grand or more for a game. If you own AES these days, mind the way to go is to get a flash card. Get about four, five hundred quid, mind. But once you've got one, you've pretty much got everything. I'll just buy Mister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heavy machine gun. Oh, got a diamond. I'm just going to pick up a few things for it, not much. Just gem me the stuff, it's around about 40, 50 quid maybe. Thank you. Yeah, you're right, PCBs are the same. I remember the days when I was buying PCBs for like 30 quid a piece. It's like Neo Geo these days is not, they're not to play on, they're investments basically. I think that's what people are doing, to be honest. I think the people who are paying that sort of prices for Neo Geo games are buying them as investments. But let's be honest, 
who the hell has got, you know, like 80 grand to pay for a game? Oh man, it, it just seems crazy, doesn't it? Ah, you're only probably using the autofire in this, it autofires every button. Save there. Yeah, I think AES AES stuff may crash, I don't know. But yeah, he's buying one every month, is he? Well, definitely this, because having the money to do that is is nuts. Yeah, if you got the money. If you got the money to waste, like, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say waste, because, you know, you're going to get your money back. If you ever want to flog them, but. Like I said, there are some you can pick up for about between 40 and 60 quid. So, basically. I'm just going to, I'm just going to buy some of them, I think. At some point. Or ideally, it's not bother doing that, and um, either don't play on it or uh, get a flash card in the OSD, or just play on the Mister and save my cash. Oh, that was lucky. There was a platform there. No, that's right. That's right, Dad. Is but they'll probably end up going to a charity shop. <laughs> I said that to my brother. I said, uh, I said, for, if for some reason I get killed or die before you, whatever you do, don't give it all to a charity shop. Because if you do, I'm going to haunt you. Ah, didn't get me with the grenade then, do it. Right, duck down this time. Don't stand there like a pillar, can get rid of it. by your grenade then, sneaky in it. And stab. I remember the first time I seen a Metal Slug game. I was like, wow, this game's cool as hell. Oh, he, he would love to have my game collection, he would. Position, haven't it? Oh, 
Ooh, grenade. Sneaky grenades. Oh, I should have picked up the weapon. <laughs> Oh no, I thought it'd stop. I got it pretty like a tit now. Yeah, and shoulder on the house insurance um, the other day actually for twenty grand. It's probably worth. I don't. Know, I don't know how much it's worth actually. I guess that my gaming collection was worth about twenty grand. But it might actually be worth more now. I should. To I should top it up and maybe change it. <laughs> I think it probably is worth more now, actually. Especially with the way prices are going. Yeah, it does. It's really cool. Even if it has got a bit of slowdown and uh, stuff, but yeah, it has definitely got some pretty awesome sprite work and stuff in it. And they're really cool games. I'll try and not forget it. I think it's probably worth more now, but I don't. I, I never know what prices do. I just put a, I just put a guess number out in my head. trouble. No, I'm definitely in trouble. No, oh, I messed that up. <laughs> down, 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 down. Yeah, that, Gunforce 2 is something I've never really played a huge amount of. But yeah, it was made by the same team, basically. Nasca. Well, it was IUM on it, but it's pretty much um, people from Nasca today. Okay, that was fun. Uh, the unstable build. Yeah, they did. Yeah, loads of people that quit. Uh, well, when I um, sort of uh, went out of business, didn't they? Formed NASCAR. And a few of them went on to form another team, which I can't remember the name of, that did um, uh, a couple of shoot maps. One they did on the PC Engine Super Graphics, Aldines. I can't remember the name of the company, though, they formed, but a few of them went off and formed, uh, formed that. Uh, Gaia Seed. Gal Seed. Yeah, Nasker eventually got bought out by um, SNK, didn't they? they? They eventually became SNK, same with um, ADK or Alpha Denshi. They eventually became um, SNK. Aldite is a damn good game. It's, it's 
it's a really nice look it doesn't look that nice at, at when on the first level but after the first level it gets really nice looking and it plays it plays a lot like an r type game in not so much the way it plays but the way you've got to learn the levels and learn bosses and stuff it's a really tricky game as well and there's only one there's only one replay i've seen online that's legit the rest of them are all tasses there's a Japanese guy who did a replay of it, a legit 1cc. The reason you can tell there's a legit 1cc is you can rotate the pods around on that game and all the other replays don't use that, that option because they haven't figured out how to do it. And to be honest, without it, you can't. You, it's almost impossible to beat it unless you're a task, unless you're a computer. Ah, it keeps your high scores. That's cool. Didn't realise he did that. I've um, I found the best weapon on this as well. It's basically it's this ship, but don't power it to full. Power issue got a long laser beam like in um, like in the uh, Gradius games and keep that weapon. It kills bosses way faster. And powering up to the wide the wide laser. So with this beam you get one more power up on it and just keep it. I don't mind task runs either. They, they they could be quite interesting to you know to basically show you what could you know what could possibly feasibly d be done if you were perfect. But when they pass them off as uh, legitimate runs, then I've got a problem. Like um, World of Long, please. They're all tasses. Yeah. So basically, you just keep your weapon. As I'm collecting the bullets. No, actually, I need to get one more power up. I need to get the missiles to go um, up and down. Because you need it, basically. Right, basically, you just keep this. Don't get any more power ups from now on. Just get the wide um, beam options and stay at this, and uh, you kill bosses really fast. And if this supports MIDI. Yeah, some tasks are quite interesting, aren't they? They, uh, they're pretty nuts. Some of the things you can actually do in these games. Much faster killing bosses with this weapon. I want to try and get a one life clear of this. I keep messing it up. Dude. 
do. Good job, it's actually a fun game to play. Yeah, t Tassies can be interesting. Have you heard about the new Don, Don Apache on the um, on the Switch? Resurrection or um, Life of Ketsu. Um, the Basically, on the fifth level, you got the wheels with the lasers. They don't fire properly and don't give you the scoring opportunity. They've, something's happened in the port. Gamers was posting about it earlier on Twitter. Hopefully they'll fix it. There must be something slightly wrong with it. I'd say probably most normal human beings would notice, but apparently there's something wrong with the scoring on it. Tell you what, now I've, I'm getting used to this um, Octagate. I'm really liking this for playing shrubs. And just playing random re you know, retro games. Got it there as well. It's really nice for playing shrubs. I think that's out as well, um, don't forget to. No, I know, I, I think uh, a lot of them should uh, come to the PlayStation as well. I think, you know, the Switch is it, it ain't nowhere near as good as a PS4, like, but, you know, for what it is, it's, it's fun. It's quite good as, um, the Switch is pretty nice as an alternative console, like a second machine. I wouldn't have it as my main machine. Yeah, if you're not into it, you're not into it, like. It has had um, it has had quite a fair its fair share of dodgy schmuck ports, hasn't it? It's had its fair share of good ones as well, mine. But yeah, some of the arcade ones that get converted um, are down our grid. There's another set of um, people to call Johnny's Arcade. They do arcade conversions. They're dreadful. They're really bad. They're like 30 frames a second. Really laggy and really crappy looking. Ah, oh, you bastard. There goes the one CC. The one life, anyway. Forgot about that one. Yeah, the Johnny's Arcade stuff is really bad. I noticed in the Switch sale as well, there's quite a few of them from Johnny's Arcade on sale. They're really cheap, they're like about a quid on sale, but I still don't think they're worth it. There was a tweet out uh, today, I think, about the, um, oh, the cotton port. And uh, they they said they ain't gonna patch it. They said, oh yeah, we're looking into a patch to come sometime. Uh, I think it was next year. They said they ain't gonna patch it. I don't think they can fix it. Hopefully, though, for people who bought it, they are gonna patch it. And I've also worked out why Guardian Force has got. In the arcade, a six frames of lag. It's meant to have it. It's it's a floating tank. I never realised that. It's a hovering tank that hovers over land and um, 
works like a submarine for water. So it's meant to feel a little bit heavy. It was obviously done on purpose. I never realised that about that game. There's actually a floating tank. This leaves is miles better for killing this as well, it kills it a lot quicker. Yeah, PlayStation, they should release all those games on the PlayStation. It's like the Death Smiles uh, ports are coming out soon, eh? but I don't know. I think they're going to be uh, avoided until anyone uh, actually tested them for lag. Yeah, you pay more for the M2 ports, but I suppose you're paying for... Uh, you know, pretty much excellent emulation, and they, well, they're not emulated today, they are actually, um, they're backwards, but he, uh, engineered to work on the police station, but they're not emulators. I hope Death Smiles is not going to be as bad as I'm expecting it to be, but it could well be a laggy mess. And if you look at the other city, um, city connection ports, they've never patched any of them and fixed them with all the complaints that's gone on, so I don't think they're going to fix them. Very gradius this game in there, lots of ways. I think that's what it was based off, basically. Oh, do you, do, do any of you see the John Riggs uh, video he checked out? Uh, Popeye got got um, converted to the Switch. I don't know whether it's the arcade version. Um, and he uh, he played it, hated it. Give it a bad review, saying basically avoid it. This is terrible, and um, they, they threaten to sue him. Which is a bit nuts. They should uh, they should put more they should put all that money and effort into actually uh, fixing their game than than trying to sue random YouTubers that do reviews and don't like it. Like YouTube, uh, if it's if it's, it's low to happen, it'll it'll be like um, it'll be like magazines and websites where they used to get they used to get paid to have a seven out of ten. Um, I've only seen the one video, so I don't know whether he did two. Yeah, censorship is nuts, isn't it? You know, they should just take the criticism and improve it. Oops, that was a mistake, I'm on it.
you know, make your product better, isn't it? Basically. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's like it's the old sort of um, GameSpot uh, debacle of probably what was that, ten, fifteen years ago, when uh, the my, the actual publishers had paid for a seven out of ten view for Kena Lynch, and he reviewed it and gave it five, and um, they sacked him because the publisher had paid for a seven, and then half a GameSpot uh, walked out and formed Giant Bomb. Um, at a protest, and then Giant Bomb was bought up by GameSpot, so they're back in GameSpot. <laughs> Which is quite erotic. It's like you look back at, like, um, like you look back at old... Oh, fuck. I forget about them things, they found that big bastard laser. You look back at old magazines, they didn't have a clue. And I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, that... I, I think a lot a lot of the reviews in the old magazines were paid for. Because when they write mine, gives bloody um, Rise of the Robots 93. 93%. That game's dreadful. And they, there's other examples of it as well. Like That's an old CMVG, that is. I'm sure magazines were paying, you know, publishers were paying for good reviews then. Yep, I think you're right. Censorship is uh, definitely real. The thing is, I, I don't think these companies realise either. If they've checked a if they've checked a shit game out there and somebody says it's shit, and uh, they say, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna sue you unless you take a review down," as soon as that gets out. Then there's massive publicity about it, and now everyone knows that game is shit. So no one's going to buy it, and then they're going to look like idiots. But I, d I don't think it does the rep any any good. in the long run I don't think you know threatening to sue people probably it's probably the worst thing they can do it just highlights the problem <laughs> it's the old Barbara um, Streisand um, thing in it basically where uh, she had that house on the edge edge of the cliffs in America all quiet nobody knew she was there and um, the local council did a survey and put it in the survey under her name and uh, she kicked off a massive fuss. Council said, no, we're not removing it. So she took him to court and sued him. And because she took him to court and sued him, because she didn't want anyone to know about it, every fucker knows about it. People end up when they visited in the place and everyone looked it up on Google Maps. Where if she just kept her mouth shut and said nothing, probably no one would have even found out about it. Uh, all I'm getting killed here by is giant lasers. Barber strays in effect. Even I went looking for the um, for the house once I found out. <laughs> uh, just to have a look what all the fuss was about. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like, man. It's it, hiding games and putting embargoes on everything. That's dodgy as hell, isn't it? You know, any game I guess an embargo, you have got to be thinking to yourself, hmm, "Hang on a minute." You know, why are they? Why is? Why the hell's an embargo on this thing? You know, what? What are they trying to hide? Yeah, it's dodgy embargoes and stuff. Really not good, like... You should be confident of what you've got in it, you know what I mean? When I hear embargoes, it just makes me think, hmm, there's something up here. 
Oh, it doesn't always work out like that, but... Yeah. We've got other end things. Don't want to get killed by big lasers again. Yeah, exactly. That's what it makes you think, doesn't it? Hang on, there's something wrong with this. Yeah, Nintendo do it a lot. Nintendo likes to win people. It's like the GTA game, isn't it? You know how much of a mess that is at the moment. And uh, Battlefield is supposed to be pretty dreadful as well. Gotta get this one life clear of this at some point. Like your cyberpunk thing in it, you know. How bad that was on um, on the consoles. That was like a massive. Uh, the funny thing about that as well, didn't it? They they didn't embargo the PC one, I don't think, but they embargoed the console ones. So they knew it was terrible. That was a really bad situation. I got a bit. And a, and a massive shame because they did have a really good reputation. And guess what? That next gen patch for um, Cyberpunk coming sometime next year. Well, we're almost in December. It hasn't come yet. There's no talk of it coming out either. And they um, delayed some extra things on uh, Halo as well. Forge mode, I think, has been delayed till next year. You've got to remember this. You've got to go right behind that thing as soon as it appears on screen. You can't hang around. Yeah, I thought you had. It's still bad, is it? Oh, it's a shame, man, because that game actually looks really good. The whole idea of it and the look of it, 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 it does look really cool. Yeah, it was massively hyped. It just, unfortunately, they released it in a, a pretty much broken state. Like, the PC version wasn't nowhere near as bad as the console ones but the console versions were literally not in a stit fit you know a fit state to be released i think battle mage was really terrible on the ps4 but i think cyberpunk is even worse I know they've, they've done a lot of fixes and stuff too, but uh, I don't know. So I, I would, I definitely would give it a go if they'd fix it. By the time they fix it, it'll probably be, oh my god, that would be good. It'll probably be like a tenner.
the only problem with gaming these days, isn't it? You know, it's just it's just sort of check it out, sort of patch it later, sort of mentality that goes on. All those um, you know, sort of release dates they've got to come up with, and uh, I think Halo's in uh, in that problem now. So I'm hoping that's going to be good, but I don't know, it's going to be a really bad feeling, it's going to be terrible. Or maybe not terrible, but just not that great. Especially considering they're releasing it in bits. And half of the features are missing. We'll see it out soon, eh? Not a good idea on this to jump forward too far forward. Stay back is a good idea. This is very much like Gradius, and the last level is uh, like a base level. points of ease. Oh no, I went back for no reason at all then. Just because he fired. Oh, stupid. I didn't even need to react to that then either. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the PS4 version looked pretty bad. It looked a little bit better on the Pro, but just because it was powering through it a little bit, like if you know what I mean. needed a shield then that would have been very helpful I'm glad I didn't pick it up like So we don't mess this up.
Okay. What about that? I definitely need something to read them out to. I want like um Orkin's voice on here or something like Hello Tuna, how are you? Like that thing going on. Um okay. Have you played Cyberpunk? Something like that'd be good. Um, I don't know, I've looked out the window for a while, but it was pretty dreadful earlier on. Really going for it, cold, wet and rainy. Very moist, that's all I can say, but not in a good way. One CC, but it's not a life. One life. Oh, the controversy is 15 quid, is it? For the L. That has definitely jumped down in price. Yeah, I think I, I think the... Um, if you play it on the PS5 or the um, Series X, it does power through some of the massive performance issues. I still got the loads of glitches and stuff. Yeah, what is like that? The original Space Moth, I, d I didn't particularly like it very much. I bought it on Steam. But the, um, the new one actually looks pretty good. Is it worth picking up, Dean? Yep, terrible out there. Chewbacca voice. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I mean... <laughs> Only problem is I wouldn't understand what was going on. It'd be funny, though. Retro alarm, how's it going? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I got the window open a tiny bit and it's blowing in yeah and it it's not particularly very warm. Should shut it really, sorry, but I'm too stupid to shut it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's cheap as well, isn't it? Yeah, the original games are still worth silly amounts of money. Yeah, I was thinking about picking it up. I seen a review of it on um, on Switch, and he said it was good. And he, he said it's pretty much what they've done to it. You could pretty much consider it a new game. We'll have a look now and see if it's on sale. They got that big sale on at the moment, don't they? I did pick up two East games in the uh, PC sales. Space Moth. Looks more like sort of um, cave type of game now. Yeah, I, I'm. It's weird, Toho, isn't it? I, I'm not a big fan of Toho either. Yeah, it's a favour at the moment. 
It's not on sale, though. I'm pretty sure I've got some points in my account as well. Look how many points I got. No, oh, nothing. Use points for a discount. I could get it for a quid cheaper. Yeah, there are some Toho games I've liked, but generally, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not overly fussed on them. Just weird because I suppose that's where Bullet Hell came from, really, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't. I was the same. I wasn't a fan of the original one. I bought it and. Didn't like it that much, but this new one supposedly is more like a new game, essentially. Right, let's see if I can avoid the giant lasers this time. Like I said, I've seen some decent reviews of it. They say the new version's good. Crazy thing, one of the better Switch games I've played is um, Bill's choice of uh, Nico Navy. I actually really like that game. It's a really good fun shmup. up. And on um, on the hardest setting, it's a, it's a pretty good challenge. It's like full on bullet hell on the um, on that setting. Somebody throw missiles up here. Perhaps I should have got the power, I don't know. All right, buddy. Cheers for jumping in. We're going all weekend, you. Take care, buddy. I'm back on on Sunday, by the way. So, you know, if you're around Sunday, I might catch you in. Right, okay. I, I played the... Um, the multiplayer a little bit, it did seem good. It is it is the old Halo multiplayer essentially, isn't it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that, but I haven't played it too much though. 
I was going to play online with my mate, but basically we, we couldn't get in the match. I tried COD as well, the new one on that last weekend when it was free, and literally matchmaking was broken on it. We just couldn't get in the match together. It would either check you out and say, oh, you can't do this, or uh, some of your settings are wrong or whatever, and then when you, when they did jump into a match, um, it would pretty much bomb one of us out. Right, okay. Yeah, I seem to play well when I played it. They rushed it out though, didn't they, to be honest. <laughs> Even Digital Foundry was saying, ah, oh, this week in there, uh, the thing that, uh, they said, they, they were saying they should have delayed it. They so just say, I don't know why they, they wanted Despy to get it out. And they could have delayed it a little bit. But I think even they were getting a little bit. Sort of unimpressed with certain parts of it after playing it for a while. But like I said, I can't say really, I, I, am, I haven't put a huge amount of time into it. It seemed right for why I played it anyway, so... And it's free, so you can't complain. But all the modes working now on it, because when I when I when I was playing it, you couldn't you couldn't choose like to play just Slayer or something. You had to literally just go into the matchmaking where it did everything. And some things were locked out. I quite like playing Slayer, but it, it just wouldn't let me pick it. I was just thinking that was a mistake, and to collect that power up. But... Yeah, they probably did, yeah. They probably told him, no, it's got to come out. That's why I think what happened to it originally. I think they spent years and years making making the game they wanted. Microsoft came along and said, hang on a minute, this is not like the original Halo. No one wants this, it's got to be the original Halo. And they started again. Monolith. Not sure if I played that or seen it. Yeah, the campaign is just literally in bits now, isn't it? It's not finished at all, the campaign. So, in a week, well, two weeks' time or whatever, you're going to get like a, you know, one fifth of the campaign or whatever. <laughs> so, I didn't fall for that giant laser thing. So. Which is a shame, because the campaign is what I'm looking forward to playing as well, to be honest. I'm just hoping while they're checking out it's going to be decent. I don't know, they're still saying it's in, seg it's in segments. I hope you're right. That'd be good if it is complete. Also, as well, I've been thinking of my list of uh, game games of the year. Just basically what I've actually played, though. Because obviously, I haven't played everything. I made a list of about 11 games. I might do a video on them, maybe. The only problem is, one or two of them, it's going to be a bit awkward to get some game footage of it. Unless I pinch her off some other YouTube site, but I'd have to ask him.
So you even got some free games in it as uh, I games with you. I've ever done a game of the year video. Most of them I might get footage of, but there's a couple there that's going to be tricky. One of them in particular, basically. He's one more hit away. Maybe two. One more hit. <laughs> yeah, the Forge and Co-op have, have been delayed even more, haven't they, apparently? I've played some games released this year. But I, I haven't played I haven't played all the stuff that's in the game awards. But I have I have checked a list together. From what I could remember. And they literally just my games here, you know, stuff I enjoyed this year, you know. And I haven't played everything. Um, I'll have to find the list and we do. After I play this, I'll get the list. <laughs> yeah, the surprise is, is the, um, the free game I got in it. This shit didn't cost me anything. I got the list on my desktop. I was trying to think. I was trying to go through the list of games that actually have come out this year to see what I've actually played. There's one game I wouldn't mind playing this year, mind. I wouldn't mind playing the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game. That surprisingly actually looks good fun. I think that would be a, quite a cool one to play over Christmas, but... Thirty quid at the moment on shop two, which is a pretty good price. But uh, I might see what happens around uh, December. No payday if it's still going cheap payday. I might pick it up. I think that game come out of nowhere, and it actually that <laughs> does actually look fun. I had to go over on the Switch, on the streaming, but um, yeah, it seemed pretty good. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank is on it. I would say that probably could be number one. That's brilliant, that game is. I really enjoyed that. What, like I said, I've been playing through it on hard. I need to go back to it. It's 
Should stream it again one night and carry on going through it. Everyone saying uh, Returnal should be game of the year, but like I said, I, I haven't really played it, so I can't really put it on the game of the year if I haven't played it. The worst game I played. I'd have to have a think about that actually. What's the worst game I played this year? I'd have to go back through the list. That's probably a good idea, actually. The best and worst I've played this year. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to look for that list again and make a worst game list. Only problem with the, the lists online are what was actually released this year. Um, a lot of the indie stuff is not on there, and then some of the indie stuff is really good. Shit, yeah, I nearly fell for that. Yeah, I haven't played that. Yeah, there was a couple of games I was going to put in there, but they didn't come up this year. I thought, uh, okay. One of the games in my list is uh, Raging Blasters. That's that's brilliant, though. Especially the Switch version. The Switch version is really nice. the updated graphics and the extra music tracks. What I would say about it, it doesn't quite seem as speedy as the PC version. Like maybe it's a tad slower, I don't know. Game always does that little, slight little pause somewhere on this level. It must be loading in or something. I was thinking about putting Cruising Blast in there, but I don't know. It's, it is fun, but it's, it, it is incredibly shallow. Yeah, the Yakuza games. I've only played one of them. I played Zero for quite a bit. And that, that was quite good fun. It seemed well worth playing. I think I got a load of them on the PS4 and uh, I'm not sure if I got something on Steam as well. I 
was trying to think of retro type games that came out this year. Or like old consoles games that were released. But it's very hard to get a list of them. I was trying to think. I couldn't think of um, anything that's actually been released this year. There probably is some. I just can't think of them offhand. I think Xenocrisis came out last year, didn't he? Got that platform game on the Megs, right? Something about Asphalt. That seems a pretty decent game. Should try and play for that at some point. Metal Gear and Amiga, that's bad. I did hear about that. That, that got released this year, too, is it? Yeah, I'm just thinking if any, any sort of... What retro games got released this year? I put Metal Stoker down there, but I'm pretty sure that got released last Christmas. I don't think I can use that. See this non-powered up um, laser on you, just one off the top power is really good. It definitely does more damage than the split laser. I can remember on this rocks, yeah behind the rocks. try and get any sneaky shots in. No, I wouldn't. No, you're right. Pretty much a dozing game, this is, isn't it? You know, it's free on a magazine. Pretty awesome game for free, mate. It's a good thing about the shop. There's, there's, like, it got all those HDFs, which are, are not all... The, the games on you by far and it, there's loads of um ocean games on you you can load the the discs but i haven't tried to load i haven't tried loading the discs for ages i don't know whether they work better now they might do they do take a bit longer to load though because they they load exactly as a machine would use them I don't think there's been any updates at the moment this week on this call. Yeah, floppy access. Five and a quarter inch floppies as well. They do work though, I've literally got all the floppy disks on you.
Oh, that's one. I don't want to get too close. Collected that last laser then. Good job I had a shield. Right, so if I concentrate there now, burr, burr luck. Now I've said it all, I'm screwed. My shield's gone. It's not a good start. I shield right at the beginning of the level, didn't I? give you any power-ups either for a long time ah get in supposed to be dodging it and not collecting it. Right again.
Yeah, don't. Gotta keep an eye on your ship in this bit because uh, the explosions can lose track of it. Still not a one life clear. Right, what was my game of the year list? Let me have a look. What I've uh, come up with so far. Uh, let's have a look. Um, where did I put it? Then we saved it. Give me a year list. Right. What I came up with so far is um, Zakesta, a free schmup. That's really good, that is. I really love that. Um, Ratchet and Clank, PS5. Mm, Metroid De uh, Dread on the Switch. Um, East 9, Monstrum Knox. Really enjoyed that. Um, Darius Cosmic Revelations, both of them games, I know they're old games, but it's a new release for this year, so that's definitely on it. Um, Kena Bridge, Kena Bridge of Spirits, I gotta admit, I really enjoyed playing through that. It was a fun single player game that it was quite relaxing to play. Uh, Beat'em Up Size, Guilty Gear Strive, I, that game is just phenomenal looking. Uh, this is the one it's going to be quite hard to get any footage of, Crowdbuster. I've checked that in it. Technically, I'm not sure if it came out last year. You couldn't really get hold of it to this year. So I've checked it in it. Um, but what I played of it, I've played it for a little bit. Oh, I've asked my mate to bring it down tomorrow, actually. So hopefully, he'll pop it in tomorrow to play. Um, yeah, but Crowdbuster, surprisingly good. Really good. Unfortunately, I'm probably never, ever going to own it. Unless it comes out on Switch, of course. Um, Razion EX, surprisingly good as well. Really enjoyed that. It's definitely still need to do a 1cc of it. Um, Region Blasters. I really like that. That's a, that's a really good spot. Well worth picking up on PC or off Switch. And um, just a random one, Bowser's Fury. I checked on it. I gotta admit, I really enjoyed playing through that. I didn't go through 3D World again, but uh, just Bowser's uh, Fury. Nah, it's working. He bought a new Neo Geo. And it works on it. I was playing it last week. It's really good. So, uh, yeah, I think Crowdbuster would be on it. I, I, I'd have to have a look for the list again and see if there's anything else. But I say, they're my games of the year, you know games I've played I haven't played everything so there may be games out there better than them I don't know but I ain't played them so but after I have a look in there for the worst games I've played this year there's probably a few on there yeah it was the AES he's got a an old AES um it's one of the original um pow pow what is it this, this pro pow pow free I think it's a pro pow model um but yeah, the one of the original um, AES is wouldn't run it. According to them, though, they said they they've come across this problem with somebody else who returned it, saying that it was broken, and they had uh, an original model as well, and it, it didn't work. Go on then. Yeah, so the, they've got special hardware actually in the cartridge, and. It can't be compatible with uh, some of the original model um, AESs. But I, I'd say I need to have a I need to have another look and see if there's anything else I need to check on here. Or what specifically come out this year? 
That's your list, is it? Nice. <laughs> it's a good list. Very optimal. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's hardware in the cartridge. And they said they've used... All their other games have used a Pacific hardware in there. It must be a chip or FPGA or something. And they said that in Crowdbuster, there's a new piece of hardware in it. So, you've heard your year first. It doesn't work with everything. It's a very optimised list, that is. It must be something you've played this year you've enjoyed. It doesn't have to be the best game ever. It's just what you've enjoyed. Yeah, so uh, it didn't work. But it is good, Crookbuster. It is pretty cool, actually. But it's definitely not worth uh, the 1800 quid that it seems to go for at this moment in time. Unless you were lucky enough to get one off NG Dev. But I reckon that'll be on Switch at some point. Yeah, that's fair enough, if it's only Metroid you've enjoyed. I enjoyed Metroid, it was good. I enjoyed Cruising Blast as well, I was thinking about checking that out, mate, but mm, I don't know. No, it wasn't on my list, unfortunately. I, it's probably amazing, Just Dance, but I, I didn't get around to playing it, so I had to leave it off the list. <laughs> I'll have, to have a, I'll have to have a look of a uh, list of uh, games I played through I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know me. I, I I play a lot more retro than modern games, to be honest. That's why my list is full of shmups and various other things that I like retro games. Right. Uh, how do I... So I got loads of floppy disks on you. So you never know if I get to play Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe I'll add that to it. That looks pretty good. You really did like uh, getting into Diablo Freedom. It's not a game of year, though, so that's the only problem. Like, there's other games I really enjoy, but. It has to really come out this year, doesn't it? To be game of the year. A Hawk, as in Hawk. See, these are the floppy disks. Uh, let's have a look with Sonya. Let's have a look if there's anything that springs to mind that's not on the actual hard drive images that I've got. Crossfire EX? Try that. Yeah, there's other games I've I've played this year and I've really enjoyed, but they haven't come out this year. Just retro games or, you know, games that come out the year before or whatever. It's pretty amazing I put a free game in it. I still haven't really played that that much. You really enjoyed it, do. Mikado did um, a replay all the way through it the other day. I, I need to um, I need to watch her. Right, I'm gonna go and grab a drink, guys. A minute. Give me five minutes. I'll be back.
Right, I'm back. Yeah, with our type, I, I still need to give that a proper go. Right, I'm not sure if I actually played this. At least we know disc games work. May have played this before, I'm not sure. Oh, it's just one the one just missing. Oh, no, sorry. I've played this before, but it was a long time ago, I think. He's right. It's gonna be good when I get the uh, MIDI music for this. Should be fun on Christmas Day to have something to play around with. A bigger hitbox, isn't it? So he's getting right in between those bullets. In um, yeah, what I've done is uh, I'm gonna get the um, the MT32 Payat as like um, a Christmas present. So I've ordered that, and um, I've ordered a uh, a Pi Free A A1 Plus, which I found out consequently a solid to get hold of because they're out of stock everywhere. But CES could have got them, so it's probably second hand, and it was only twenty quid. So I've ordered the Pi. I set up a I set up a SD card earlier for it. So uh, when I get it, I'll plug it all together and test it, and then I'll uh, I'll have it on Christmas Day to play run with. I don't mind waiting. Better than having a game or something for Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, the Pi Free um, E1 Plus is exactly the same size as the Pi Art. That's what I want today. Can't tell whether it actually hit me. So uh, I think it's I think it's definitely well worth picking one up now with this core getting better and better. I do plan to play a lot more games on you because this, uh, this computer is pretty amazing. The music's pretty funky, yes, it is. I can't get it. What power supply have we got? We've we got the four amp one or the two amp one. Yeah, that'll do a job, innit? I could easily do that if I run into power issues. Yeah, I got the four amp power supply for mine. I gotta be honest with the mist, I think that's a bit of an essential these days with all the stuff you plug into it. It definitely makes the Wi Fi connect a lot faster when you've got the 4 amp post by. Seems a pretty decent game. Oh, 
Nice, right, so you've got the four amp of you. I'll have to see then. I was wondering whether I'd have enough power for it all. I can always power it off my TV or something if it comes to it. Or the PC. Yeah, that's where I got my 4 amp one from as well. Should have gone back instead of forward. That music reminds me of another shoot map. I've got quite a few things plugged into my mister as well, so. Maybe I'll run into issues, you know. Yeah, I got an SD card and a USB um, pen drive with uh, an SD card in it plugged in. Two joysticks, wireless keyboard adapter and a... Um, oops. And a, um, a Wi-Fi module. Oh, and a, no, I'm not using the Bluetooth dongle now, actually. Yeah, I've just seen how much power the Pi takes. You got a Pi 3A1 or you've got a normal Raspberry Pi? Right, okay. Yeah, I can run external power for if needed anyway, so shouldn't be a problem. Feeling it's gonna fire loads of stuff at me. I oh, know, maybe not. Yeah, it does run on Mister, and a few other games work on it. Ooh, it's got messed up. <laughs> yeah, they found a few other games that call or run. Only problem is. And then you've got two sets of um, SD RAM for testing. Yeah, um, you can't play it at the moment. Ah, you got a normal Pi 3. That's cool. I was going to do that unless if I couldn't get um, the one Pi like it was looking like, I'd probably have to buy a standard Pi, which I probably would have done. I was going to leave it a while and see what happens. Handy though, isn't it? You could just get a separate SD card and use as um, use as an emulator machine, can you? Basically, on the side. That's the beauty about that, I suppose. Really, isn't it? You could, you could use it for other things as well, and just swap the SD card when you want it. Um, you want to use as an MT32. The ship on this and some of the levels remind me a little bit of Reforce. That's what it's probably modelled after, actually. Da -da -da. Yeah, it's going to be good when uh, PlayStation and Saturn calls are out. It looks like the PlayStation cores are going to come first. Use 
use in all my lives, right? Music's pretty decent on this. Yeah, this is the new, the latest call. Unless they've released one since I've, uh, I've been on. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's exactly what this game reminds me of. Ah, could get out the way of it then. Uh, should I continue? Well, that's all one can do, move on. Yeah, some of the empty music looks amazing. Sound well, it looks amazing. Sounds amazing. The PlayStation Call. That's what they were trying to do on him. He said he, he is trying to get it down to using a, a 32 meg, <laughs> just the one 32 meg RAM stick. But unless unless something's changed at the moment, you you need um, two sets of RAM sticks, and you can't use an I/O board when you use that either. So the only only really anyone who's developing cores is gonna is gonna have that. Anyone who's just using it for playing games is is not gonna have that setup. But um, he said it shouldn't be too long, and he'll. Get it button running off the one ram stick. And we can all try it out then. It seems a nice game. Not amazing, but good. Thing is, if you're just using the Mister for playing games, there's, there's no need to have two sets of RAM. Plus, you're not going to be able to use the I/O boards or anything if you do it. So, I'd say the majority of Mister users haven't got two sets of RAM sticks. Because <laughs> I know the um, the D10 Nano's got a gig of RAM on it. That would be like hybrid emulation at that point, I suppose. Which there was a lot of fuss about that, wasn't it? Because retro art is coming out on the um, on the mist at some point. I'm all up for it. Look at it. Hybrid emulation. Get your options open until things are made in a FPGA. I don't see anything wrong with that. Plus, they didn't actually say whether it was going to be emulation or whether it was going to be FPGA based. I don't know if it quite works like that if you've got two misters because um, you still need to have the ability to plug the second RAM thing in. And I think you've got to have like a, a different connector to be able to do it. I'm not sure, mind. That's right, red, anyway. You can have like a conversion board or something. It's 
Lost his ping, did he? Right, we see green lasers would uh, sort off. Oh, nearly had it. Right, I'm going to get close to it. Yeah, he reckons you know, the core will only end up using 32 gig of RAM. Uh, 32 mega RAM, sorry, a gig. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, that's running on in there as well, is it? Ah, oh, really? Using newer beta, is he? Oh, okay. I'll have to have a look for that. Yeah, not quite sure how it works like with uh, having a second uh, RAM module. And where it would actually go. I have to have a look for that video and have a look. It's pretty wicked though, isn't it? That it, it is actually, even though it, it's probably about, I don't know, 60% finished, it is actually booting some games and running well. I think that'll be... Uh, really big corn here when that comes out it's going to open up a hell of a lot more games isn't it a hell of a lot more arcade games as well i got my uh mr sd card loaded uh, pre-loaded ready with loads of stuff Transparencies then on the clouds. Just notice that. But you don't get no power ups in this game. The one thing it's missing, I think, is lacking a few power ups. Get that front shot running a bit nicer or something. Right, I'll have to have a look. So they're in the Mr. Forums, eh? I'll have a look in here tomorrow. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Well, he's definitely out of boss. Oh, 
Right, so if I stay close, they can't hit me. Ah, those lasers can hit me though. I don't know if I can kill it by just killing in the middle. So if I can't next time, I can just stay in the middle. This thing takes a hell of a lot of shots. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'll have a look at the new thread. How well was um, in the hunt running? That's a pretty demanding game, isn't it? Oh, I think that was the last boss. We've looped it by the look of it, and it's got harder for more enemies. Watch the bullets. Actually, it didn't give you any sort of like ending or anything. It just just loops. Pretty decent game. All right, buddy. Nobody's catch your own ticket. Just for jumping in, being emotional as always. For me, anyway. Cheers for the chat. I have to catch one near live stream at some point. Next time I catch you on. This actually might be a little bit more fun at uh, this speed. Actually, I think they should have kept it at the speed for the first loop. Yeah, they're definitely doing the speed up.
seems a little more more um, exciting at the speed. It's good to have look at the lies. Ah, scratch me. Oh. Ooh, that was lucky. I'm assuming the enemies can't hurt you then, because those ones fly into you. I should test that for you, shouldn't I? Yeah, this game's definitely better at this speed. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have suicide brothers, it just seems that everything is aimed exactly at you. We're not sniping you, if you know what I mean. This game is definitely better this week. The last boss is going to be a bit tricky at this speed, mate. And those big ships keep chucking missiles out as well once you've done them. You didn't do that before. I could do with some power-ups as well, couldn't I? Make a firing on the front just a little bit nicer.
mind the music on it, it's pretty good. This machine has got a, a rather nice FM sound chip. This mode is actually easier because the bullets don't stay on screen for so long. Don't hang around where you're going to crash into them. Lasers are going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, more fun at this speed. any sort of uh, one-up or anything for a long time. Oh. Can you? I can't pause it either. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's a bit sneaky. Any, uh, I don't think you, uh, maybe you don't get any one ups on you. Maybe it's just the lives you start with, and that's that. maybe yeah right, this boss is going to be interesting
Oh, I should have stayed back. Alright, I won't get to it. Alright, buddy, no worries. I still need to have a look at Cowboy Bebop. I didn't like the anime much, and I didn't like the, uh, the original anime series either. But I'll have to give this new one a try. It's not a bad game. What options we got then? Can you start on hard mode? No. Oh yeah, what else we got? Cranked arrow. What the hell is that? This one. At least this way you can see all the smups. Yeah, give it a shot. You're just good anyway. Catch you around. Ta-da. Should look for the floppies where they sorted, like, in the different genres. Not sure if they go echo off and they're actually working. There they are. I wonder what this is. Okay, it looks cheap. It's gotta be a dozing game. <laughs> okay. This is definitely gonna be a dozing game. It runs very slow. Now I'm gonna fire in. Okay, that's a bit crap. Okay, well, let's go back out to you. Let's go into um Let's try a platform game. Fighting. What fighting games you got? Ah, so it's got a hundred and twenty percent burning on burning fist. Not by game saying actually. Actually, if I go back. Platform, platform, no. Action. No be. Oh, okay. What we got here? Battle City? Bomberman? Bonanza Brothers? Camel, try a Stark Aiken, man. Mujin, something, Valis. Who's in no sense? He's physical melon. Give that a go. Actually, I should try, try Genocide 2 also off disc. See if it works. Um, what was that then? Jumping. Jumping Simon. This is the Valis game, Valis 2. Uh, where the hell's the game I just started? Ah, Physical Melon, there it is. I have no idea what this is. 
I try Valis 2 on you now if this don't work. You know the original Valis came out, didn't you? Zengi Soft. Who's his AD PCMN? So much stuff to uh, discover on this machine. Loads of stuff, actually. As if this works, of course. It did look like it was going to do something. Mm. Maybe not. I guess that don't work. Mujin Sensei Valis, one, two, three, four, five, got a lot of discs. Let's see if this works. I like a Valis games, but a Valis fan me. I know they're cheesy. I'm a bit crappy, but I really like them. Doing something. <laughs> Never tell how long we're taking to load. Renovation. They made some cool games. Yeah, no worries, buddy. I'll catch you um catch you on Sunday if you're about. But yeah, take care, dude, and I'll um, catch you then if you jump in. I'll check out that PlayStation video as well. Renovation games. Ooh, something's happening. PCM, a PCM sound. Is that all we get in for all this loading? Renovation games. Well, try the keyboard. Oh, I think that may all all we've got. Ah. Yep. Mm, let's try one more then. Actually, let me try. Uh, let me try our disk a minute. Our disk. The moving valise on you. Yeah, it has. Eject these two. the hard disk image of it. I think this is possibly pretty bad on you. Mm. Nope, I don't think that's working. Ah. Okay, let me restart. Let me restart the core just in case. Um, just 
just case you need a restart. You can do the same thing. Yep. That didn't work. Neo Nectaris, that's a cool game, I like that. Dodgeball, Nemesis. Actually, let's go. Um, zones. Try that. No idea what half this stuff is. I may have played these ones before and forgot about it. Okay. That's not obviously working properly. Wow. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Prepare to fire. Prepare to fire. That's a shmup. Crazy moving one as well. But yeah, it don't work. Ah, shame. Also one life thing as well. Uh, zero ray. Yeah, I think I played for uh, Star Force on you. Yeah? I'm sure I've played some of these as well. I'm sure I've played this. I'm sure this is a shmup. I guess this is running too fast, what do you reckon? It sounds a bit nuts. got to be running too fast. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Star Soldier, isn't it? Check something a minute. Oh, CPU's normal speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably not meant to be this fast. Faster than that one here, I put two over one. Oh, you can collect those blue, uh, yellow ones. Oh, straight up soldier blade. Okay. 
Yep, that's definitely too fast. Seems alright though. Some some deep bass going on, eh? Zero Master Striker. I think I tried a lot of these before. I can't remember which ones I've tried. I must be the same company, I reckon. This one's also running way too fast. Right, okay. I'm sure yesterday is like an adventure game. Is there a super lay dock on you? No. Actually, does super hang on work now? So I'm pretty sure I tried this before and it wouldn't work. At least I think I tried it before and it won't work. Yeah, when you get that echo off, man, it's just like it's waiting for something there, like waiting for a load or something. Give it a bit longer just in case. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this didn't, this didn't work. Um, let's have a look if Lee Dark is on here. That's supposed to be pretty decent. He isn't on yet. What the hell is that? Yeah, I think it must be waiting for a load or something when it's doing that. Gemper, where the hell? Volume 4. Namco. What the hell is this? It's been an arcade game. No old arcade game. Oh, I think I did play this before. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, this is weird. Grab the rope on stuff and you gotta make. You gotta fill the screen in. This is really weird. A weird game this is. Could well be actually. I don't think the buttons do anything. That's pause. I can't do nothing now, though. Now those things pushed together, I can't actually do anything. Let's kill myself. Yeah, that's a bit... 
It's really weird. Yeah, it's crap. Let's try that. Yeah, that's an odd game, isn't it? It's, it's like it's like those boards with the pins in you had when you were a kid. Instead of putting um, marbles down them, you're really tying them up like the old style. Remember the old style pictures that people used to have on their walls like that? And you'd nail stuff to a board and then you'd spin the cotton. You'd spin uh, like different colour cotton around to make pictures. Remember them things? I may have tried this before. Uh, okay, so what have I do here then? It's a puzzle game. I push him off now. Ah, oh, right, you can push stuff, okay. Okay, this is different. I got an SD card on it. SD card and a pen drive with an SD card in. That's pretty much what I've got on mine. can use a hard drive though. Um, yeah, the SD card's a little bit more expensive, mind. I bought a 512 one, but I had it for a pretty good deal on a Amazon sale. Ah, right, you can collect them back that way as well. Yeah, I think I paid like 50, 51 quid for it. You're going to give our drive a go, are you? Yeah, I've got a couple of external hard drives here that, that work perfect on it. Well, I got my, you can use multiple pen drives. You don't just need to use the one. If you run out of space, you could just put another one on it. All you got to do is basically make a folder on it called Games, and then take the ROMs out of the main one and put it in the other folder, but name it the same as it would be in the other in the main SD card, and then just use the extra storage. So I've got two in mine. I got the SD card and the pen drive. With the SD card on you, uh, it'll it'll just show up in the list basically, and you you can do the same with a hard drive. I suppose a a one terabyte um, hard drive probably would be a, a pretty good bear trip. So if I go back to mine now, uh, it just shows up the one I think. You can't tell either what's on what. Because it's saying I've got that free on my on the SD card, but uh, as long as you've got a pen drive plugged into it, and you've named you've got a games folder, and then you've got you basically got the same name folder in the in the um, SD card or the pen drive, it'll just pick it up. It'll just show up in the list. Because I was wondering how to get hard drives working as well. Should definitely do an update. You, you've probably got a massive update now going. Um, the old Gundam computer. Let's try some more PC88 games. I want to see if we can get anything else working.
because this core this core is massively hit and miss. A wolf team. Arcus and Arcus too. The wolf team were doing a lot of uh, PCATA games. I wonder when they started then. Yeah, you should turn the beta calls on in the script and then um, update it, get all the Capcom stuff and everything else. I'm assuming you probably got the Capcom stuff, oh. So this is an RPG. I tell you, with the low... Low amounts of colours and stuff they could do on screen in some of these old uh, Japanese PC games. They definitely managed to uh, make some games look quite interesting. It did well with what they had. Probably killed it now if press the button. Yeah, if you go into scripts, and it's one of the options in the scripts you go into, and you can turn uh, beat the cores on. And they turn up in. You might you might get all the uh, Jatago stuff if you've never used it. And but you you won't be able to run it unless you get his um. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'll crash. You won't be able to use it unless you get his. Uh, you subscribe to his uh, Patreon. Scenario disc. Right, that's got to be another. A range ball, Pony Canyon. Artemis. I can't remember which option is that. I think you just you you run the script, push up. You'll probably see if you just go for the extra options, you'll you'll find it. Ah, uh, yeah, if, if you if you sub into him, you'll have to get the latest um, beta zip to chuck in your main folder. Just chuck that in there and then just run the script. As soon as you turn the betas on in the script, run it, and it'll chuck them all on. Yeah, that's it. And this might be a dodgy game. Where are they using, uh, what's that called? Um, something Canon. Little, little, little. Thing. This must be a dating game or something. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I can't control it with the key, but with the joystick. Or the keyboard. What am I missing? Music sounds good for what you hear of it. Unfortunately, and no work. Um, Taka Vanguard. Pretty sure that's a shmup, and I'm pretty sure it didn't work. I mean, this looks pretty nice as well, actually. 
I'm pretty sure I couldn't get it to load. How many games you can get to work in this call? Um, the balance of power. Bastard special. Thanks for. Yeah, I should get the updates to the um, Sega calls then. He's released some more games as well. <laughs> Nothing against weak mind. Waiting for the. Uh, well, he's trying to finish the uh, Neo Geo Pocket Corny. Action role playing game presented by Zane. <laughs> I can miss it in English. Alright, okay. I, I tell you, I quite like Quicks games. Let's try that out then. That's different to the arcade one then, because the arcade one doesn't do that. The arcade one's quite a... It's just a black background, isn't it, basically? But I, I quite like Quicks games. Uh, have I gone past it? Mm, what do you load off disc, was it? Ah, uh, fantasy is called, is it? Mm, fancy quicks, no? Fancy zone? Ah, uh, fancy quicks, I say. Yeah, I'll go. Here we go. Get prepared to be banned off YouTube. Comic market. This must have been a Dojin game, man, if it was made for a comic market. You might as well get a joystick working now. Right, space to start then. Okay. Yeah, I quite like quick schemes. We always want to try and do is go across the middle of the screen, do we? Ooh, yeah. Great. Yeah, it does look like it might be a dodgy, <laughs> dodgy enemy. Yeah, it looks quite cheap as well, so it probably is. If it gets too saucy, I'll turn it off. Just don't want to get banned a few times. Uh, yeah, I forgot my box of tissues. Go on, go on, go on. How about that? Yeah, we're dead. Ooh, we're deaf again, dodgy. I always like the Gals Panic games. Do you play them in the arcades? 
They were always quite good fun. Got block knockers. Okay. What type of game is it? The name block knockers. <laughs> Makes you wonder. Yeah, some of these, uh, a lot of these Japanese computer games, especially on the PC-88, is uh, full of uh, some very dodgy stuff. Uh, we're okay, we're safe so far. Necro and super dodgy, I'll turn you off. <laughs> oh, I was there then as well, wasn't I? Yep, that looks dodgy. Let's try something else. <laughs> um, block knockers. I'll have to check that out. Holy Princess is quite good. I was playing that for ages. Mm, let's try that. I think we definitely get into dodgy territory then. Block knockers. Okay. Have a quick look at that up with this. Is it? Oh. Sometimes it does that. It's cool. Load it again. Half the time it works. Ask any videos, eh? Right, okay. I see where the name the name is coming from. What I thought it was. Hey, a little bit. Let me have a quick look at this, man. Loves your puzzle games, be like if you are. Okay, it's one of those push in the block type uh, puzzle games, is it? Looks right, actually. Got funky music. Okay, I'll have a look at that. I want any more now, can you? Okay, what's this about then? God, cheap shoot map. That ship is humongous. It's got really loud all of a sudden.
ocean game, definitely. How much is that block knockers on the store then? Because it's, it's had a look at it. It's like 26 quid on cartridge. Is it worth that? Yeah, it's quite cheap, this, isn't it? Really cheap. You wouldn't think this was uh, X68000. Yeah, let's play something else. First blow. Um, Bujingi Gatensetu. Some good adventure. Yeah, so that new terror crest has been um, it's been delayed, haven't it? Which is probably a good thing because it wasn't looking particularly very good. <sighs> Couldn't fit a cocktail cabin here either. <laughs> have to use this as a table. The only arcade cab I got in here is the bloody uh, Astro City Mini with the base on it, the little mini one. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look for that price as well. I shall look later for the uh, that price. Okay, what have we got now then? Okay, one button and she uh, has a five knuckle shuffle. What am I going to do here then? <laughs> what am I going to do here? Okay, you die if you go into that. Him off to death or something, right? Uh, what, what am I supposed to do here? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what you gotta do. <laughs> does move, sort of. Okay. What are you supposed to do? That's weird. I have no idea what you're supposed to do on that. Okay, see if it gives you a demo. Nothing did anything. You got the five knuckle shuffle, which don't do nothing, and you he's chucking him notes or something. Not doing anything though. What's in configuration then? Normal mode high. Ooh. High and low res. No other buttons do anything. What 
What the hell am I checking? She's kicking it. I have no idea. Nope. I don't get it either. Do, do, do. And then this doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. Okay. No, I can't call the devil by, uh, so this is weird. Okay, so you've got a trap in right in the middle of it. That's crap. Um, oh, wrong one. That's a weird game, I was. Galaga 88, that's a classic. Galaxian, Galaxian 2. Fair. It's weird how cool does that, eh? It checks up out a weird error. Old school. Oh, is that just loading? Ah. Ooh, that's weird. That's the unlike Galaxian I've ever seen before. Different. Also solid. Try again. Really hard to dodge. That's really hard to dodge. This game is super unforgiving. Killed it.
Okay. This is, seems really n crazily unbalanced. Like you gotta know where everything is coming from. Why is he just gonna get killed straight away? Like that. Service I've got. Yeah, that's stupid. I won't try and do our boss now. This game's a bit silly. Really unbalanced, man. I was just pure luck. <sighs> right, do I have to stay the one side of him? Nope. Yeah, that's really shit. Pretty sure I played Game X before. It's a cool game, isn't it? Gemini Wing. That's actually on the Mister, actually. Yeah, I think that's probably a homebrew game. Geograph Sealed. Does that actually work? Someone was talking about that on the Mr. Forums the other day. Can't remember what type of game this is. Space. The 3D game, but okay. Hmm, okay. I think I may have played this, maybe. Generating balance. Yeah, I've played this before. A bit like jumping flash, sort of. I wonder if the turbo does anything on this one.
That's definitely run smoother. Get these little enemies. enemies everywhere. Definitely a little bit like Jumping Flash. I love Jumping Flash as well. You can bounce on them like Jumping Flash as well. In fact, the shield now looks like jumping flash. And the writing does. I wonder if it's the same people. Bones on their heads as well, like uh, Jumping Flash. I have a base or something around here that I haven't got. Can't go past there. Aha. Uh -huh.
definitely gotta be something to do with jumping flash, I reckon. I see a base around here. The map is not particularly that useful. Ah, so you can look up and down if you do that. That's just targeting me normal enemies. Still don't know where to go. Oh, it's our new area. There oh, you are. to the boss but You can jump three times. One, two, three. Yeah, you can. This has got to be something to do with jump the flash people. One, two, At least they flash when they get shot. Four more targets.
Oh, come on, where's the base? Kill that, the target could dingle down. Oh, they are my targets. all those big ones somewhere. Ah, there's one. We run around the middle somewhere. Come on, I want to do the first level. the last one. Face loads at you. Right, that's not working. How are you supposed to stand still to kill this thing? A solid. Can't even get a hit on it. Right, I'm gonna call it a night, guys. Looks like I'm back at him. First door. Who made this? We just fell off. 
Yeah, exact. Yeah, exact. Oh, look, geograph seal. Geograph seal. Oh, look. This mission shooter, Mac platform. The publisher exact. Yep, they did the Jump Flash games. Also, that's very much like Jumping Flash. And they did a Toady Princess, that's cool. I love Jumping Flash 1 too. Now that's the wind blowing. Jeez. Ooh, got a shoot map here I've never heard before. Nios. Quick look at that. Shut that window now, I think. Um, nah, it's not on you. She's got windy all day. Floppies. A quick look if now your West is on you. Come on. Yeah, it is. Now you S two. Quick try that. If it works. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Try some um, different stuff out. That loaded fast. We'll have a quick look at this, though. Yeah, that boss and that geograph uh, seal is solid. Well, we've got a start screen, anyway. Definitely getting windy out there. Well. That looks like it all works. Just a start screen. Oh well, it was worth a look. Anyway, guys, cheers to that. I'll, um, yeah, it could be longer loading times, possibly, but, oh, it is. Okay. Maybe I should be a bit more patient. I don't look props into it. Well, the music's working, nothing else. Ah, that was a game they said they did on Wiki. Now you us. Let's go and shoot a video game developed by Publisher Exact. It's a shame. Sorry, the screenshots as well. How was on the scrolling shmup? Well, wherever that was, it's gone. I'll give it a little bit longer just in case it's a load or something. Expect miracles to you. The core is not a is not amazing. You still in a, still needs a bit of work, but a lot of stuff does run really well on you. Oh well, it's worth a try. Right, no worries, but no worries, guys. Right, I'm gonna shoot off, and I'll um I'll be back on Sunday. I'm popping out tomorrow night, so uh, I won't be around unfortunately. Just have to look up that uh, PlayStation call, won't I? I'll do it in the morning, I think.
Well, be best. Well, cheers for the chat. Cheers for everyone hanging around. Hope you have a nice weekend and stuff. And uh, possibly if you're around, I'll catch you on uh, Sunday. But, uh, yep, night all. See you around. Ta da. Gotta shut the bloody window and the door. The door's banging with the wind. I'll try, mate. I'll try and get a bit of. Um, hopefully, my mate will bring over uh, Crowbuster again. So and give out uh, another blast. So I was quite enjoying that. We shall see. Right, anyway. Catch you later. Ta da.